Yeah, Chicago is a great city. So we're going, we're going live here. All right, perfect. So why don't you do this? Um, tell, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about FIABSI. Um, I just discovered FIABSI in the last year and, and I have some good, you know, good friends within FIABSI um, and been very impressed. So um, talk to me a little bit about who, you know, you and your role and, and a little bit about FIABSI. Well, uh, as you may know, my name is Walid Moussa. I'm from uh, Beirut, Lebanon. I'm a uh, Lebanese Venezuelan. So that's why I speak uh, fluently Spanish as well. Uh, I'm the world president of uh, the International Real Estate Federation, FIAPTI, that is the umbrella of the uh, real estate professionals around the world. We have many kinds of uh, uh, membership categories. We have brokers, we have property managers, we have developers, experts, and all profession related indirectly with CAPC, with the International uh, Real Estate Federation, uh, such as uh, the notary, architect, lawyer that are in relation with the real estate industry. Um, part of our members are the associations. And as you may know, that a lot of uh, real estate applications are made in Chicago. Yes. And uh, on the top of them, NAR, the National Association of Futures, is a member of FIAPTI. Uh, we have chapters around the world. We have around uh, 50 chapters around the world. We are present in uh, 70 countries. We've been established legally from 1951. Uh, uh, so we've been there around uh, 70 years. We were the first uh, international, the first and only uh, real estate federation in the world. Uh, we have two major congresses uh, around the world organized by CAPTI International. CAPTI International, uh, our last congress was in Ghent, in Belgium. We were supposed to have our congress now in Manila, the Philippines, but Unfortunately, because of the situation and the travel plan and the lockdown, we have to we have to cancel it. So, CAPT um, is a great organization uh, with uh, elite real estate professionals around the world. And on a personal level, I'm as well uh, the president of the real estate syndicate of Lebanon, my country, uh, uh, and and uh, I am the president of the Arabic chapter of CAPT that ha that includes uh, seven countries, uh, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia, Emirates, um, uh, Lebanon, uh, Tunisia, Kuwait, and uh, some, uh, I forgot what was the seventh, but sure. there are seven countries in that chapter with a lot of uh, uh, developers, brokers, uh, and uh, we have always, not only private institutions, but as well, we include a public institution, such as, uh, for example, from Dubai, we have the Dubai Land Department, uh, and we have many uh, uh, municipalities uh, around the world uh, in Seattle, or some ministries, because you know there's ministries of housing. Uh, so we have public, uh, uh, a public uh, institution category where we uh, have those kind of uh, entities. Uh, okay. Uh, one more thing. Uh, one more thing. Uh, we have uh, private membership. We have association membership. We have the public membership, public institution membership. We have the education uh, membership. We have a lot of university around the world that are related with real estate. Okay? And uh, I think those are our four uh, four main uh, uh, membership. Uh, so. Uh, I, I uh, do luxury real estate. I'm someone that has started uh, uh, from real estate brokers. I still love the brokerage profession. Then I became uh, an investor. Then I do commercial property management. I'm related to everything uh, in relation with real estate. That's my only hobby, my work, my hobby, my paralegal activity. Uh, and it's a pleasure to be I. 
I, uh, and those webinars are, are really great. I get connected all around the planet all day long. Uh, I see the world. I talk about these states. I jump from a country to another. Uh, I will miss the webinars later on. I think we, uh, in, that, in that lockdown, we got used to get, uh, and that's uh, the nice part of the uh, lockdown, that we're getting connected every day with each other doing those webinars. Mm -hmm. And getting to see all the friends around the world all day long, and it's like, yeah. you know, uh, and that that's what's gonna happen later on. That we're gonna discover that this works, and we need to do more webinars, and that takes us to another topic here, yeah. uh, home office, and what are we going to do later on? Are we going to really adapt working from home? What the companies are going to do later on? Are they going to keep the same? Uh, spaces or they're gonna shrink and work for, uh, let the people work from home and it works you know I see you perfectly here uh, it's like you are just in front of me yeah so yeah it's funny happy. we we just had on Friday uh, a, a guest by the name of Brad Inman he puts on these uh, great events here in the United States and um, you know he, he, he also discussed you know he thinks when the shelter in place and the quarantine period is over, you know, there's going to be a slow, you know, build up to events and people traveling like they did. But I do think you're going to see a lot of trainings and a lot of, uh, you know, face to face meetings still. I think that's that will never go away. But I do think you're going to see some more virtual meetings and and uh, Zoom meetings, I think, are are here to stay. But but I do think interaction face to face is best. So, so you know, part of what we have here with Luxury Lunch and Learn, and by the way, uh, for those that are watching on Zoom or one of the Facebook Live, uh, please uh, type in where you're from. And if you have any questions, um, my assistant will let me know what those questions are at the end. Uh, but FIABSI, I'm trying to bring on various guests, both you know, in the North America as well as globally. And FIABSI, I typed in a link uh, for those of you that want to find out more about FIOPSI or, or the 45 plus chapters they have across the world, but real estate, particularly high end and luxury real estate, is no longer just local, right? We talk about how it's global. And that is part of the reason I wanted to have uh, you on today as our guest to talk a little bit about FIOPSI so our, our audience can learn more about it to see if maybe there is a chapter near them once. Um, things settle down and we get back to hopefully normal sooner than later uh, so they could perhaps uh, inquire and find out more maybe even go to an event at their local FIOPSI if they have a FIOPSI chapter near them. That's why I, I put uh, I put my name on Instagram it's w a l i d dot m zero u s s a so on Instagram, W A L I D dot M zero U S S A, and you can find me everywhere. Link in Facebook, uh, Twitter as Walid Musa W A L I D M O U S S A. So you can send me question or messages for more information. Yes. So we have an amazing chapter, very strong chapter in the USA, uh, and uh, it's one of our oldest and strongest chapters. We have a great relationship with the many research associations and on the top of them, National Association of Realtors, the NAR. And I've signed actually this year in San Francisco, uh, a cooperation uh, uh, agreement, an MOU between CAPT and NAR. We are, you know, uh, we, we are great partners. We complement each other. Uh, and um, uh, uh, we, that relationship has been for uh, uh, for years and years, but we like each uh, uh, from time to time to renew it, and that's why I have signed this agreement in San Francisco in last November. Okay, okay. Yeah, we have, uh, you know, one of the things that we do, we do trainings across the country, across the world as well, for agents and brokerages learning, uh, looking to learn more about high-end and luxury real estate, best marketing strategies, you know, ways to pivot in this, un, you know, precedent time. And building your network and building relationships with 
agents and brokerages that whether they be from boutiques or franchises or global companies, you know, you mentioned that's one of the things that you love about your position, right? Is you're talking to top agents from different countries. Um, and so what are you seeing, you know, right now with the COVID-19, um, not just in, in your country, but you have a, a, a finger on multiple pulses on multiple countries because of your position. Um, what, what are you seeing? How are people's mindset, right? Are, how are their spirits? And what are people thinking is gonna happen um, in their perspective countries when things loosen up and they'll be able to move around a little bit and travel and, and how do you think real estate is going to rebound? Is it going to be short term or is it going to, is it going, in other words, is, is it going to rebound quickly? I know that's a loaded question because every country, Beirut, is different than, you know, uh, you know, other countries that you have relationships with. But what are you seeing based on your relationships? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do understand your question. I spend the day uh, jumping from a country to another. So I have a little bit of perspective. Uh, an idea about uh, the situation. Look, this COVID-19 came up from nowhere and it took us by surprise and no one was prepared for it. And what's happening around, around the world is, is really crazy. Uh, you know, uh, at the moment where human beings used to think that they are controlling everything with technology and we live in a, in a fast uh, world, suddenly this uh, invisible enemy has put us at home uh, putting our uh, life at risk and put, uh, putting our beloved people life uh, at risk. So uh, if it's not for you, it's for, for your, your beloved people that you are staying home, confined and being uh, uh, cautious. So uh, if we, um, if we uh, really uh, see the situation, in my opinion, the risk the sector will be affected on a global perspective everywhere. But the good news is that the real estate uh, sector will be affected less than the other sectors, uh, relatively talking, which uh, I explain myself. Uh, uh, as we can see that in the, uh, in the stock market already, we see uh, uh, down for around 35%. That's not the case for uh, the, uh, uh, the real estate. And the real estate investment will prove us, again, that the secure investment and the real investment, you know, we all come and leave. Uh, the only thing that say is land and real estate in this world, in this planet. So it will prove once again that's a real investment. Uh, there's some bad, uh, good and bad times for real estate. There's a cycle sure. there for sure. Sure. But in time, though, because this time, this time uh, 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 the problem is not from real estate. And if we're going to see a uh, uh, decrease and, uh, let's say, a low demand in the real estate, it's not because people don't want real estate, because there will be a global uh, economy problem and people will be affected economically. But uh, let me tell you something. After this crisis, especially, uh, especially on uh, the housing market, people will be really uh, uh, attached to have homes. Why? Because we have discovered that the safest place on earth now is home, and we're staying home and working from home. So psychologically, uh, people will want to have homes, uh, and that should be noted. Uh, could we afford to have? Could we afford to have home? That's another issue, because uh, 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 you asked me how uh, are we going to bound after? Look, it's all a game. Uh, 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 it's all a matter of time. How long are we going to stay uh, at home? How long are we going to stay locked down? Uh, at the same time, because uh, the effect is exponential. So a month. Uh, is different than two months because two months is not the double effect of a month. It's three times. And three months are not uh, 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 three times a month. They're six times. So it's a... a, it's a, a, a Multiplication. Effect. Yes. Uh, so that's the issue. How long are we going to stay in? And that will determine where we are going. Really, the only... If you're asking me where are we going, I'll tell you. Depend how long are we staying on lockdown. That doesn't mean that we have to open the countries because what's happening now is that some people are afraid from an economic crash and they're saying, okay, let us open up. Okay, if, if we want to open up, 
uh, we have to be sure that we're able to, to control the situation. If not, it will be disastrous. So I'm not with opening up, uh, but at the same time, uh, I, I would like people and government to stay very precautious because if we are kind of good, uh, and that doesn't mean that uh, we will stay uh, uh, like that. We've seen the Singapore, uh, the Singapore uh, situation now. Uh, they've tried to open up the country. They had a bad experience. And you know, Singapore are very meticulous people, those kind of people that really work things on the millimeter. Uh, uh, so uh, they, they had a bad experience. We need to just uh, monitor and see what will happen. As for real estate, you know, it's funny to see uh, everything as well is relative. I saw that in some countries, even real estate brokers, agents, or developers cannot move from home. But in others, such as Florida, it was mentioned that real estate is an attempt and you can go out and show home. What uh, we will need to do is to be very cautious because sometime or in the future now, if things are going to continue like that, we're not going to be able to stay forever at home. Got, we have to stay at home and protect each other. Yeah. But if, let's say, if, let's say, uh, government uh, decides to open up a little bit, we have to adapt on the situation. And if, and if there is no medicine yet, we have to adapt on the situation, and we have to be very careful using the social distancing, the gloves, the mask, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the way you have to let your client enter first, maybe alone, and mm -hmm. wait for him outside. Uh, those are, uh, 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 we are obliged if we have to continue our business, uh, and we have to uh, do the showing, we have to adapt on the situation. Yeah. And the client may have to go maybe alone, uh, depending as well on the size of the home. It's a big home. You can keep your distance. It's a small apartment. It's preferably that you wait for him uh, outside. So we need to uh, uh, move, but we need to be very cautious and for ourselves and our clients. Because if our clients will be in danger, they will not visit anymore and they will not come for the showing. Yeah. So uh, uh, that's the case if they open up. That's the case if they open up and there is no medicine yet. In case there's a lockdown and not permitted, we have to respect it and wait and try to do things that we can uh, do from home. Yeah. A couple things you pointed out there that were very valuable. Thank you. First off, you talked about how during this time, the home is the safe place. And, and we've all, you know, everybody said there's no, no place like home, right? You've heard that, and there's no place like home. I think it was in a, a movie uh, way back when, there's no place like home. But, but I think now people are gonna realize and appreciate their house even more, or they're gonna appreciate maybe what they want in a home that they might not have in a current home, i.e. home office or more space or more land, more seclusion, more privacy. And I do think you are right um, because I think many people also think that uh, this isn't going away. In other words, yes, for example, in the United States, we haven't seen anything quite like this uh, since 1917, the Spanish flu, they called it. And so I think people are going to say to themselves, it's not going to be another 100 years before something like this comes around. And so we better prepare for the second wave and we might want to purchase a home or something with more land now. I think, I think it's putting a lot of different perspectives in place. The other thing that you mentioned, which I think was brilliant, you talked about how quickly uh, countries and real estate bounce back really depends on how much longer the shelter in place is, is in, in effect. And you used the multiplication. You said, if it's another month, it's not a matter of, okay, it's, it's gonna take too longer. You said three times. And you said, if it's three months, it won't take three times, it's gonna be six times. So in your opinion, you feel like, you know, when momentum is slowed, in other words, it's gonna be much harder to start things back up. Is that fair to yeah, say? You know, yeah, yeah. As, I, I'm going to give you an example. The oil prices, you know, the oil prices, one of the issues, there are two issues for the oil prices now. Uh, 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 there is a secret war between uh, secret war between Russia and uh, Saudi Arabia, but as well, uh, uh, for serving the oil price, but as well, you know that 35% of the oil consumption is circulating. 
and there's no airplanes flying now. Uh, uh, and, and there's uh, uh, no car movement. So no automobile. Who would have thought that? What, uh, they, uh, who would have thought that the oil price will come to minus? There will be no place to put them. Uh, that's one of the uh, effects of the COVID-19 that I've never imagined that will come up. And I don't know what will be those effects coming that will not, never have imagined, not usual effects. You know, you know better than me. Uh, today you are on the highest level of unemployment in the U.S. Not because the economy was not good, but because of what has just happened. And in, in, a, in a communication by the New York uh, Restaurant Association, they say that they already know that 12% of the restaurants will not be again in New York. So uh, 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 we, uh, can you imagine if this continues like this for two or three months? Uh, we need to see what's going to happen. You and, and, uh, and uh, you specialize in, 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 uh, in uh, uh, luxury, home luxury, but the retail, uh, the retail uh, uh, situation will be really, really, really bad. Uh, they are really affected. And we, uh, we, uh, I've seen that, for example, J.C. Penney in the United States uh, uh, is in a terrible uh, uh, condition. They're saying that uh, he did not pay uh, his interest uh, on some credits that he had on the 15th of, uh, of, uh, of uh, April. Mm -hmm. uh, same as for Mark uh, Macy's. But the only difference that is that uh, Macy's has a lot of uh, real estate portfolio. He owns the shop, so he has between five billion and eight billion of real estate assets. He will be able to do the restructuring uh, 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 on, based on his real estate uh, uh, ownership. If we go to if we go to Airbnb or platform, this will be really because this is investment. This is the kind of investment that we do because we invest, we buy a home, and we put it on this platform in order to have a higher uh, income than the usual. Uh, long-term income. This, uh, this, this of uh, of uh, the COVID-19 on such platform is huge. You know, I don't know if you know that they had to uh, raise uh, 260 million, uh, uh, a fund of 260 million dollar, just to pay them to the landlords as a compensation for the cancellation that happened. They said, okay, you know what? You had cancellations. We're gonna give you 25 percent of those amounts of the cancellation. So they have to raise up to $260 million only to send them to the landlord because they want to keep those people. Now, if you open the portal, you're going to see a lot of uh, new apartments uh, on the portal or on the listing for rent that are furnished at night. Where did they came from? They came from the short-term rental. They used to be in the MBA, and now they transfer them to the uh, normal uh, 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 long-term uh, rental. But, uh, you know, I, I told you... Uh, home will be the less affected because uh, hotels, restaurants, uh, retail, this really will be bad on them. So if we're going about luxury, if you permit, uh, you permit me to continue, uh, I think that there will be a lot of, uh, uh, of business in the luxury. Ask me how, why, how come? Uh, yeah, why? There will be no international buyers. Yeah, why? Because uh, at moments like those, uh, uh, local people, wait until the prices uh, 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 get affected in order to put their money in. Because uh, people, uh, someone like you that lives in Chicago and knows Chicago, let's say, for 20 years, uh, and see the prices going up. So you say, this is unbelievable, the prices of Chicago. You're not used psychologically to buy at a certain price. But directly, when you see the price uh, dropping, you're going to see people locally investing in the, uh, in the local market. So always people with money. We work and a luxurious real estate. And we know that there is always people that have money, even in wherever are the crisis, still you have uh, 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 people that have money and what to invest. So on a local term now, it will be interesting uh, to prepare some hot products uh, uh, with uh, 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 reduced prices at the same time to search for those kind of investors that will put their money in those luxurious property and say, I was waiting for the right price, it came. So this is the right time to buy. There is, there is an old say that says, uh, in time of blood, you buy real estate. It's an English uh, quote from uh, uh, the, 18th, uh, the 1800s. So uh, uh, there are lots of people locally, you will see, will be buying real estate. Because at the same time, I have to tell you that the international transactions will be kind of affected for the time being because the world will not be opened as, as before. We have to see. I, 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 we have to talk 
about we know, not about things we don't know. We don't know to which extent this globalization will be really affected. So that will be depending on how long are we going to stay locked down. But what we know is that the local people will wake up now and try to uh, start to search and grab uh, a luxury estate and say, okay, that was the right time to buy. I was waiting for this surprise for, uh, for many. I'm going to give you an example. I met a woman in Miami, uh, I think a year, a year back. Uh, she told me that she had 13 apartments. So 13 apartments. Okay. Uh, did you get? She's like a 42 years old uh, uh, woman. So she told me, I had some money in the 2008 crisis, and I invested all my money when the crisis happened. And now I've made uh, uh, I've made ten times my money because she buys them at nothing, uh, at thirty thousand, forty thousand houses that uh, no one wanted in the two thousand and eight crisis. And when she she buys at the moment, she made ten times her money in in uh, uh, in ten years. So here, I said that I don't like to compare different kind of crisis. That would be very uh, yeah. uh, uh, clear here. That uh, it's not the same. Crisis, but there is a crisis, and price may be affected if the situation yeah. is gonna take long. And we still don't know. You know, in the states, because we follow up the news all day long, um, there is still debate. We open up, we don't open up. If we open up, what's gonna happen? If we're going, uh, if there will be another rebound of this virus uh, anytime soon. So, in my opinion, even if we open and uh, some some uh, some uh, uh, states will open. We, we will be different, living in a different world. Before we find this medicine, things will be different, and we need to adapt. The right adapt, world in life pivot, right? is adapt. Right. Adapt. Things that you don't control, you adapt. Because if you really want to win them when you don't control them, you have to adapt on them, and then uh, 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 you go forward. If you're not going to adapt on them, they'll go on you. Uh, that, 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 that's the way. Adaptation. Yeah. Oh, that, that that that's that's great. Now, again, when we started out this uh, the show today, one of the reasons I brought you on is because of, you have a, a vast uh, finger on uh, multiple pulses, multiple markets, multiple chapters, so to speak. Um, you know, in a nutshell, can you tell me a little bit more about um, uh, FIABSI uh, and the international? You know, the, the international. Uh, you're the world president of FIOPSI. If somebody is a real estate agent in North America, or I have people on here from, uh, from Mexico and other parts of the world uh, watching, um, do you recommend they just go to FIOPSI, F-I-A-B-C-I.com, right? FIOPSI.com for more, or, or excuse me, FIOPSI.org for more information. Um, is, is that where they can find out more information on FIOPSI? Yes, they have to go to FIOPSI.org. FIOPSI.org. F-I-A-B-C-I, FIOPSI. So uh, they go to FIOPSI.org, uh, and they're going to search if their country is on the list. For example, the U.S. is on the list. So they send a message, and they say that we are interested, and get directed directly sent automatically to the US chapter and the US chapter will contact them directly. So yes, we have in Mexico and Canada uh, uh, because you've mentioned them. Uh, and uh, it's a global network where we share the best practices and we do networking. You know, and some people networking, have the networking and best practices. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, you know, uh, some people have the tendency to think that the day they will join CAPTI, uh, uh, they'll have uh, these coming uh, raining from the sky. No, no, no. Capti is not like that. Capti is personal relationship. We open you the door. You have to go inside and do your networking and have to grab uh, uh, grab your thing. Because some people, by experience, I mean, that they think that the fact that they pay their um, yearly membership, uh, they they're gonna have uh, business training uh, from the sky. No, we're opening the door for you and tell you, look, this is an international estate community. You go and do your deal. So you have to uh, meet people, you have to travel, you have to communicate, you have to have food with them. And, you know, we are, we consider, we call the Fiapti family. So we consider ourselves as a community where people live time together, they enjoy because 
it's like any other community that works in the same field. We are a community of international people around the world. Eh? And the best thing eh, is to have those personal relationships and to have this trust that I can call you now in Chicago tell you, hey, how are you? I have an investor coming from, uh, 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 from Dubai that wants to invest in uh, Chicago. And you will not ask me a word. You'll kill yourself to uh, take care of this, uh, 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 this uh, client. Why? Because your Fiat colleague has called you and told you about him. It's a community. It's a, uh, it's a network community, but you have to really know how to practice it. It's not by being wrong and not doing anything right. Everything you like, you know. Some people have a tendency to think that when they stay at home and they stay and they pay the everything will be done alone. Nothing. Yeah. Especially some, in those times. Some people want the easy button, right? They wanna they wanna that hit the button easy. and they want it easy. But what you're saying is Fiopsy is, is about relationships and you have to be involved, you have to be engaged, you have to communicate, you have to show up. Uh, it's not a one way relationship. You know, you have to bring value. And this is basically a microcosm of being successful as an entrepreneur, being successful as an agent, as an investor, as a broker, right? You have to bring value. Everybody's looking for this easy button, right? They want a magical website or a magical, it doesn't exist. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. And look, in my life, thank God, I think, nothing came easy to me. I had to go get it. But I think I, I, I'm grateful that nothing came easy uh, for me. You know what? Because I appreciate it more. And I look forward to new things more and to really go hard and get them. You enjoy them more. When you get things easy, uh, you, you, you don't really enjoy them. So this button for me is, uh, I, 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 I really consider it tough. It can happen, but that's not the way to do it. The way to do it is to go forward, adaptation, work hard, and go grab your thing by yourself. Yeah, that's awesome. That, with that, I think we can we can wrap this up. So, if anybody wants more information about Fiopsy to see if you have a local chapter, go to fiopsy.org. I dropped in the URL f i a b c i dot org o r g. Again, I uh, really appreciate your time uh, and your expertise, your energy, your passion. Uh, I could see it, and, I, and the next time you're in the states. Uh, I'd love to break some bread with you and, and uh, get together with you and, and uh, in person. With, with pleasure, for sure. We're gonna, that's a, uh, it's our first time together here talking today here, but I'd be more than grateful always to, uh, uh, to be uh, uh, in your show, in your program. It's, uh, I like to work with good professionals. Uh, uh, you're a professional. Uh, I, 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 I really appreciate your work. Continue your doing. You are serving uh, uh, the international real estate industry by doing those kind of of, uh, of programs. Uh, I will really tell you that I will, uh, whatever you need in the real estate industry, I'll be helping you and sending uh, uh, next to you. So good luck. And uh, I, I I put again my Instagram yes. account uh, W A L I D uh, N zero U S S A and the other is Walid Musa. If you have any questions. I always enjoy you know, getting questions from all around the world. It takes me sometimes 24 hours to answer, but sure. I always answer. Sure. No, Take that's care great. of yourself. Stay safe. Safe at home. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. And uh, for those of you that uh, we have same place, same time every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Again, you can go to luxurylunchandlearn.com to register for future or you can check us out, go to our Facebook group, facebook.com forward slash groups, forward slash luxury listing, where we put replays of not only today's guest, but past guests, and we will be uh, continuing this. We are filled up all the way through, pretty much, we're almost through June already, where we have Monday, Wednesday, Fridays look, locked up. We're looking forward to this week, Wednesday, I have Rebecca Jensen, who runs the sixth largest multiple listing service, in the United States, she's our guest. And on Friday, I have Ann Miller who runs Remax's luxury division and commercial division. So that's what we have on the docket for this week. My name is Michael Lafito and continue to prove others wrong and go make somebody's day. Talk to you guys soon. Thank you for your time.